I'm Nick Davis. I'm Nika. This is week two of our Charleston and Lindy Hop swing class. Um, what we did this week, uh, first half class, we worked on our eight count basic footwork, which you guys can check out in the first week video for. Next thing we did, we worked on Lindy Circle from closed position, which looked like this. Seven, eight, rock, step, 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 step triple step. Which we can show from multiple angles. We talked about the feeling you need to get when you're doing this. We want you to be pushing against each other, to have some energy here. We don't want anyone wilting on the other person. And we did a little exercise to try to illustrate that where we just jumped around. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So whenever you're struggling with how it's supposed to feel, refer back to that move. Other than that, we worked on Kick Through Charleston, which we reviewed our basic Charleston and our Skip Up Charleston, which you can see the other video for. And our Kick Through Charleston looks like this. Rock, step, kick, kick, kick. Rock, step, kick, 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 kick. And to close, it means you just wrap your arm back around and finish out your basic Charleston. Uh, let's show that from the other angle. What we didn't say a second ago was that when you're going to leave this, leads you bring your arm from the side down to the hip and turn it through. Okay, so it looks like this. One basic, rock, step, kick, 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 bring the arm down, kick, 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 That was about it for the class. Practice your footwork. Come back next week. Practice your bouncing. This is important. Remember, all these moves we should be doing on the balls of our feet. Try not to turn on your heels or anything like that. Um, thanks again. Hope to see you guys next week. Have a great evening.